Meanwhile, over in the United States, the Federal Communications Commission voted to end rules that guaranteed equal access to the Internet. It will take some time to see the changes, but the political and legal fight to challenge the decision has already begun. Cha Sang-mi zooms in on the brewing net neutrality war. The Federal Communications Commission voted Thursday to dismantle net neutrality regulations. The 3 to 2 vote is a radical departure from more than a decade of federal oversight and gives more power to Internet service providers like AT&T or Comcast to control what consumers can access on the web. The Obama-era net neutrality rules had required Internet providers to offer equal access to all content without charging consumers for higher quality service or providing preferential treatment to particular websites. The new rules allow Internet providers to deliberately speed up or slow down traffic or prioritize their own content at an advantage over rivals. It is time for the Internet once again to be driven by engineers and entrepreneurs and consumers, rather than lawyers and accountants and bureaucrats. Protesters rallied outside the FCC building ahead of the vote to protest against what they call a move that will make the Internet less accessible. New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman is planning to file a multi-state lawsuit to challenge the FCC's illegal rollback of the 2015 regulations. When it comes to Korea's telecommunications policy, an expert at Inca Research and Consulting told reporters at the Ministry of Science and ICT on Tuesday that the ruling's impact will be limited here, since it's meant to help American ISPs grow their business. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.